Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will learn about the another operator that is map to operator. This is a pretty straightforward operator. It's a very simple, easy operator. This also comes under the transformation category of operators. Let's try to see the definition. Emits the given constant value on the output observable every time the source observable emits a value. It's a simple thing. So whatever the source observable emits the value, it always emits a constant value. That is the thing. So no, let's try to see the syntax. Map to operator, the value. So whatever the value you provide in this map to the as a parameter, that value you will only be emitted to the output observable, whatever the source observable emits. So it will not consider the source observable. So whatever the value it is, it is. So whenever the source observable emits the value, emits the value, it will not take the value. It, instead of uh, instead of emitting that value, it will emit this constant value. That is the thing. So straightforward this one. So value to map source values. So it returns the constant value that one. So let's try to see the marble diagram. So if you see the marble diagram, then you will understand very easily. Here it is a source observable emitting the value 1, 2, 3 and when we pass to the map to operator and when we give this A. So now whenever the source observable emits the value 1 is passed to map 2, then 1 is not passed to here. So the value what we have given, it will be passed here. In the same scenario 2, so A will be passed, 3 A will be passed like this. So it is a pretty straightforward, takes a constant value as an argument. It is a constant value. So it is not a predicate function or a project function or something like that. It is a constant value. So, and emits whatever the source observable emits a value. So, whenever source observable emits a value, automatically the constant value, value what you have provided, it will be emitted directly. So, in other words, ignores the actual source value. So, it will it will ignore the source value and it will emit the given constant value as an output observable. So, that is it. Simple, straightforward. So, if you try to see the example. So, let us create this example. So, then you will understand. So, right now, I think you have understood very, very straightforward that one. So, whatever the value you have provided in the map to operator, that value will only will be emitted to the output observable whenever the source observable emits the data. That is the thing. So, now if I go to operators dot here, so here I am using map to, sorry, map to, and here also I can give map to, and let us go to the app routing dot module dot ts, and here I am giving map to and here I can write something like map to operator component, right. So now if I go to the map to operator component, here let us say you have a value of uh, what I can say interval of 500 or something like this. So now here I have an interval, so I am passing an interval here, okay. So for every 500 seconds and I am subscribing to the data. Okay, I will be doing console.log of data. Okay, I will do the pipe operator here. Now, what I will try to do, I will try to send, sorry, in this one map to, I will add map to operator of, I will send my own name, Leela Webdo, our channel name, Leela Webdo. Now, if you understand here, whenever the interval sends a value, something like 0, 1, 2, 3, like that. Instead of sending that 0, 1, 2, 3 value to the subscription, it will send this Leela web view. That is it. Simple. So, now if I try to see the output here, if I go RJS basics and if I click on the map to here, see Leela web view, Leela web view. So, it is always sending the Leela web view only. If you are able to see, so it is going on sending 11, 12, 13. So, the same output you will be able to see. Whenever the source observable emits the data, instead of emitting that value, it will send this Leela web view, whatever the value you have provided in the map to. That is it. This is pretty simple, straightforward. Hope you understood about this map to operator. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.